Welcome back to ESBR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by another Boxing World Takes video. The video is where we exchange unpopular opinions, weird things that we've come out with. Um, last time we were talking about does Wood Ryan Benetta beat some new way this time? We've got another topic which I will let Owen reveal. But gents, delighted to be joined by all of you once again. Owen, it's your turn, mate. Been looking forward to this one, looking forward to getting everyone's opinion on what you're about to say. What is your boxing world take? Um, I think I've shown on the, the videos um, I've been a part of an ESBR. I'm not one to uh, mix, mix my opinions, really, off straight to the point. My wild take is that Floyd Mayweather avoided fighting Amir Khan. Interesting. And I think just, just to point out, I don't. you're not saying that Khan would have beaten Mayweather. You're just saying Mayweather, you just think Mayweather swerved him. Absolutely. Yeah, and why? Why would you? Why? What was it about Amir Khan that you didn't that like that that you thought Floyd Mayweather didn't like? Didn't did the reason why he didn't want to fight him? I think Mayweather was a, was. Um, I think some people would say Mayweather did swerve other fighters in, in his career, or some fighters he didn't fight until a certain part of their career. Maybe the Pacquiao fight's an example of that. That fight didn't happen until both men were at the, at the end of their careers. But yeah, what is it about um, about Amir Khan that Floyd Mayweather didn't like? Listen, just to start it off, I think Mayweather is one of the best ever. He's in the argument for arguably the best ever. Um, obviously, that's for a different video. Um, but he he did cherry pick certain opponents at certain times, even with the unbelievable CV he's got. I just think there was a, a point in Amir Khan's career, sort of the turning point for me at the time was when he got knocked out by Brady's Prescott. Then he went on a bit of a, a mental run where he fought, was it Barrera, Katalnik, Malinaji, Maidana. Um, I think Zab Judah was in there at that, that run of fights as well. Um, when he was going through those fights, that was peak Khan for me. His hand speed was outrageous. Um, he showed a chin in the Maidana fight. Maidana was a killer at the time and Maidana couldn't take Khan out. Um, he was a, very much a forward fighter. Um, he'd bring the fight to you with stupidly fast combinations. And realistically, I think at that stage of Floyd's career, it was it was a risky fight. Not necessarily he's looking at it like he's going to beat me hands down. I think with the hand speed, Khan is going to catch you at that stage of his career. No matter who you are, you're going to get caught. And I just think that when there was rumours of it, each win Khan got, the rumours got stronger and stronger. And Mayweather just never seemed to entertain one of the at the time, one of the better Brits. So yeah, I just think from his hand speed and his style of fight, not one Mayweather would have been interested in. Yeah, I think um it'd be interesting to know if that fight was ever close to happening. As far as I'm aware, I never really heard that many reports that of negotiations or trade of words or anything like that. Um gonna go to Greg next. Greg, what are your what are your thoughts on what Owen Owen's saying here? Yeah, thanks Haley. You know Something I'm a, I I think you guys may already know this. I'm a really really big Amir Khan fan. I think Amir Khan is potentially the most the best most disrespected British fighter there's ever been. Um, I think he had a style, and it shows in the amateurs that would have gave Mayweather an awful lot of trouble. Um, a name that Owen didn't mention there, but he, uh, to be fair, he would have probably mentioned more names than me. I wouldn't have probably remembered that many, but. His win over Devin Alexander was tremendous. That was maybe the highlight of his career. Um, I think there's some legs in what Owen's saying. I think Amir Khan had a style that would have gave Floyd Mayweather an awful lot of trouble. And the hand speed. Now, you look at the difficulty that Zab Judah gave Mayweather at times, albeit he was a southpaw. I don't think Pacquiao got him at the right time in his career. Um but yeah, like Owen said, I, I, I've said this to you guys before. I think Mayweather um, manipulated a lot of his fights, especially after Ricky Hatton, but after Oscar De La Hoya. Um, I, would, I would maybe say like guys who he should have just basically fought in a natural way and there were stipulations and everything all, always put on it. And to back up what Owen's saying even more, although it's a different um, clash of styles, Let's not forget, most people had Amir Khan up on Canelo when Canelo knocked him out. So mm -hmm. it's it, it's a really good point. And I, I, yeah, I do think there is some legs in what Owen saying. I think Mayweather would have won the fight, but you know, I think Amir Khan would have pushed him really close based on the style that he had. Yeah, would have definitely would have definitely loved to have seen. Obviously, there's a there's kind of an age gap of 
I'm going to say eight, nine years between the two of them. And I think, I think one thing about Amir Khan is that hand speed was lightning when he was at his peak. And that's what that's Mayweather wasn't slow. But I just that would have been the real fascinating thing in that fight. How would Mayweather's Mayweather dealt with Amir Khan's hand speed? Um, we'll never know, but it's really interesting to, to get your opinions on it. Um, Paul, what, what, what are your thoughts on what Owen saying? Do you think Floyd Mayweather swerved Amir Khan? Like, I completely understand where Owen's coming from. It's a, it's a, it is a good point. Um, there was a time where a lot of UK fight fans anyway would have thought that Amir Khan deserved a shot at Floyd Mayweather and um, obviously that never came to fruition I think one of the things as well you've got to remember is that between the Ricky Hatton and Marquez fight for Mayweather he had like two years out of the ring as well which was at the time when Amir Khan was um, beating all those names that Owen mentioned and stuff as well so there was probably a, a fine there was probably only a few years where they were, you know, at Khan was at his peak and Mayweather was active as well, where they actually could have fought. And Mayweather, you know, obviously fought Alexis Shane Mosley and um, Miguel Cotto, Victor Ortiz and stuff um, at the same time. So I, I don't know whether he avoided him as such. I completely understand where both Owen and Greg are coming from. Um, I would maybe say, I wouldn't use the word avoided. I'd maybe say, I don't know what another word I would use. I don't think he necessarily avoided him. Like, oh, I think he could beat me. I don't want to fight him, but I do to a certain degree agree that Amir Khan could have given Floyd Mayweather a horrible night's work. Um, I still agree. I think Floyd Mayweather would have won the fight, would have found a way how to win the fight. You know, it wouldn't have surprised me if it was went 12 rounds and it was a you know a majority decision or a really, really close fight. Um, so, yeah, he definitely had the hand speed and stuff, Khan, and at his peak, as Greg said, I completely agree. There aren't many better British fighters um, in the last however many decades at their peak than what Amir Khan was at. So, yeah, I understand where Owen is coming from, but I think Floyd Mayweather didn't avoid him as such and would have potentially won the fight if it had have came to fruition. Absolutely. I think one thing to finish off, guys, the kind of a topic for another video and one thing that I've always been, has always impressed me about Mayweather's career is that he had a lot of fights that you thought were going to be difficult for him. And they weren't. He kind of came out of a lot of fights just looking quite comfortable. Um, quick question, quick answer from all three of you. Where would Amir Khan have ranked as Mayweather's toughest fights if the fight had happened? Obviously, we all know who Mayweather fought. He fought Manny Pacquiao, Maidana, Shane Mosley, Canelo Alvarez, obviously, quite early in Canelo's career there. Um kind of the names go on he's got a star studded resume but Paul gonna go back to you how tough would this fight have been I, I think we're all in agreement that Mayweather would have won if, I don't, if I'm wrong about that please speak up now but Paul what, what are your thoughts on on how tough that fight would have been for Mayweather compared to his other fights yeah if you're going on a peak Khan you put it you, I think you could put a top five mm. probably I think you could probably put a top five um, mm. at the time, you know, along with obviously all the names we've mentioned that May Mayweather has fought, but if you're talking a peak Khan, you know, around that time where he was beating all those fighters, Greg and Owen talked about, yeah, I think there's no harm in putting him in the top five of top of opponents for Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely, Greg. Would you would you agree with that? Would it have been a top five opponent for Mayweather? It, it wouldn't have been far off. I would say top ten, but the only reason I would say top ten is because Mayweather had a lot of. I mean, he fought an undefeated Diego Corrales, um, he fought De La Hoya, he fought Hatton, he fought Pacquiao, um, Cotto, um, even guys that weren't supposed to be good fit. Guys like Philip Endo, who he fought at lightweight, that was probably the last time that we seen Pretty Boy Floyd um, before he turned into ta tactically winning fights. Floyd, um, I would say maybe, maybe top 10, top 8, maybe something like that, but with all due respect to, to Mayweather, he did fight some really class opposition, especially early on um, in his career. So I would say it's top 10, top 8 for me. Yeah, I think like another thing about Mayweather is just like his longevity is incredible, really. So you maybe kind of forget about some of the fighters that he's fought and how tough some of those fighters were. Some some of those fights were, as you've just done, like, like the Castillo fights as well, two close fights. Yeah. Um, Owen, what's your opinion? Do you agree? Like, is, is would Amir Khan have been a top ten opponent for for Mayweather? Top five, top one, maybe. 
Um, I think there's two ways to look at it for me personally. On paper, it probably gets just into the top 10. But if you look at it, when they would have fought, sort of prime for prime, who is he for? I think Mayweather fought Pacquiao at the wrong time. He fought Maidana quite late. He fought, I know ages don't help. He could have fought De La Hoya at a better peak of his career. Um, so I think when you look at it on paper, he probably just edges top 10. But when you look at it, uh, if he's fighting him at the time, I think Cam would comfortably have been a top five. Because even if you look at Canelo, it was a young Canelo. So th there's always been the questions of, OK, if they fought a bit later, would it have been as easy night's work for Mayweather as it was? Um, so I do agree with both. I think on paper, probably top 10. But in terms of if the actual fight happened, yeah, quite comfortable top five for me. Fantastic. We'll leave things there. It's been good to discuss, not as... um. Not as many worse exchanges in the other videos that we've done, but we'll leave things there. Yeah, good to look back at the career of Floyd Mayweather as well as how much of a threat Amir Khan was. But yeah, really good to discuss what, what this one with you, gents. Um, we have done other of these videos. Please do check them out when you get the chance, as well as the other content on our YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can find that all, all of that content yourself. Gents, thank you for joining me. We'll speak to you all soon. Cheers, fellas. Thank you.